All right, so now let's take a look at importing some data. Now the data that we're gonna import is the data that you should have downloaded in the previous section and extracted. Now, as I mentioned, we have a control file, so that's a CSV file, it's got our point number. And one of the things you do wanna know about this is the order of your coordinates. So I happen to know that this is northing, easting in my elevation. So that's the order that I'm gonna to need to know when I import in this CSV file. This DXF file, it could also be a DWG file or a DGN file. That's basically a CAD file that has the line work. And then an XML file is typically gonna contain a surface or an alignment or both, um, as well as some other data, but it's typically design data that is exported from uh, another application or a design application. So these are probably three of the typical file formats you may get. You may get other file formats. Um, we actually do have a uh, course or another knowledge app that explains the differences between what these uh, different file types are and how they're created. So that's something you can look at uh, if you're interested in that. But for what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna select all three of these files left click on them and simply drag and drop them into our plan view. I'll move this out of the way. And the first thing that'll pop up is this dialog box that wants us to choose the format for our point file. So if we were bringing in the point file by itself, this would still, the CSV file, this would still pop up because it needs to know what is the order of information. And when I, if you remember what I was saying is I want northing easting, not easting northing. If I do this, then my control points are going to be in a totally different location than where they should be. So you can see there's a whole bunch of formats up here that we can scroll through. Um, you can go next and, and step through and create your own, but we actually have this one already configured and it happens to be right here, which is point number uh, northing easting elevation code control or point number northern easting um, code unknown. So I'm just gonna select the point number northern easting elevation code unknown. And you can see that my northern and my easting and my elevation are showing up properly. So all I have to do here is click on import. When you first create points or bring in a point file, it wants to know um, what the default origin is. And in most cases, it's just gonna pop up a false northern and easting. And we're just gonna click okay to this. So now you can see that I've got my surface, which is this series of triangles. And then I've got some other line work, like my property boundary, as well as my points, which are my control points, which you can see here. So in the next video, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about navigating around and looking at some of this data.